everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting haul for you today. Today we have a very large haul, may I say. I have two very big bags from Pretty Little Thing here and then I've also got a giant <laughs> box here as well full of goodies. What I have here are brands that I've used myself, that I'm still using and loving myself, and a few brands that I've had my eye on and wanted to try. There are a couple of things in here as well that I have designed myself, so I will talk you through everything. There will be codes and links in the description box below, so let's see what we have got. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with the Pretty Little Thing haul and I think I'm going to do a try on of the items that I pull out as well. I've only picked up items here that I see myself wearing for a long time, so things that wouldn't necessarily go out of fashion. So the first item that I have here is a cream high neck fluffy knit jumper in a size small. I was desperate for a really thick white sort of jumper at this time of year because we know it's just going to get colder as <laughs> the weather continues. So let's have a look at this together. So let's check that inside. And this absolutely looks gorgeous. Look at that guys, it's very soft, it's got a lovely roll neck actually and oh my gosh the length is lovely as well on the arms. I like jumpers when they just sort of come, as you can tell with this one, just sort of come over my arms. If I want to I can fold them backwards but yeah this is, this is perfect and really looking forward to styling this up with all black <laughs> with brown trousers as well and I know that this will look lovely underneath my new coat that I have too. The next item that we have here is a grey satin wrap kimono pyjama in a size 8 and I love pyjamas that have got the silky kind of look and have got the piping around it as well. I was interested in this one because of the wrap around the tummy and I should say that everything from Pretty Little Thing I've selected myself as well. So this is a short sleeve as well, this comes to just sort of about the elbow area on the model and then you've got this lovely tie that comes around the waist and then you have a full trouser with the elasticated waist because we know at this time of year we like to eat a little bit more <laughs> so I'm excited to try those on and we'll probably end up wearing those tonight <laughs> and the next item that I have then now I remember ordering this it's probably an item that some people would wear out and about um, but myself I wanted this as a sort of lounge wear pajama type of set. So this is an oatmeal all in one and oh it is a little bit more sheer than I thought it was going to be so yeah if you were to wear this out you would have to wear a body underneath it but there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't do that. Um, it has a tie around the waist as well, a small button at the top and it's very soft as well so this would be really really comfortable on. I know I'm not doing this justice by um, holding this up but yeah this is very comfortable and I can see, maybe I'll wear this one tonight. I'm just getting all of the loungewear vibes from these today guys. I have zoomed you out a little bit because I thought you could probably see a little bit better that way. <laughs> okay so this item then I wanted for something a little bit more sophisticated when I was going out. I've actually thinking of pairing this for Christmas party vibes with a pair of shoes that I have picked up. This is a sort of jumpsuit and what we, it says cream belt detailed wide leg cargo jumpsuit in an eight and I'm not sure if I actually should have asked for a 10 in this um, but we'll see, we'll see when we try it on what it looks like but um, I really liked how the model looked in it and that the 
the material is actually quite thick which is nice because at this time of year you do if you're wearing that all in one you still want to sort of feel warm at the same time and not have to put another layer over the top so this has got um, some lovely buttons down the front and it has two cargo pockets on each side here a nice sleeve which I would probably roll up ever so slightly just on myself does it have a tie? I can't remember if it has a tie around the waist. Yes, it does have a tie around the waist and it is floor length as well. So I really, really want to try and style this up. I'm excited to put that on actually. Let me show you the shoes that I wanted to pair that with. Now, I can't remember which brand that I saw these in. Well, I know that um, Bottega are doing this sort of more square front heels now but I've picked these up in a size 7 in black but I feel like it might actually be that brand but um loved the fact that this was a stiletto heel with a slightly larger bottom that square toe front and these always make your feet look so much more elegant when you're placing your foot inside and you've got sort of this is lower down so you've got more leg space to show here so I'm excited to see what these look like with that there although they might cover the very top of this but we shall see shoes like this as well I feel like are a staple and you should have these in your wardrobe black sandals they always come in handy always so definitely guys if you don't have a pair of black sandals you need to be getting yourself this pair right here okay going into the next item and oh no, I know I remember the two of these things that I asked for so this is a petite camel oversized gold button blazer in a size 10 I loved how this looked on the model and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it as you can see and I never used to be a blazer girl but I am turning into a blazer girl now but here we can see it's actually it's really soft everything is soft I like soft it's a double breasted how are we look in here okay so we've got a lovely gold button as well down the front just a single button on either side and this again is something that will just look lovely with an all black outfit I'm really into all black outfits this time of the year with a lovely pair of black boots a nice length as well so this comes I think this is going to come to sort of like just below uh, my waist as well which is a, quite a flattering length and blazers I feel always tend to just dress up your outfit so you can have like the most casual of look or the most boring of looks on and then a blazer just really helps to elevate your outfit a little bit more okay this one then is what I would call a basic and something that I need in my collection. So this is the Sand Basic Plunge Long Sleeve Bodysuit and something that I thought would just go underneath trousers, underneath jeans. Bodysuits I have come to love <laughs> because I'm forever sort of like tucking in my tops. So bodysuits are great for that. I'm into sort of all of the nude colors as well. So this is a plunge bodysuit. Um, I really liked the sort of squaring off at the top of this top as well because I'm not really a plunge type of girl but I feel like this is a, a length that I could get away with. Um, lovely long sleeves so really great for layering again. So most of these pieces if they're not pyjamas that I've chosen are sort of winter or layering type outfits yes yeah, so um all important as well to go slim down the back you get less sort of lines showing so a really good basic i feel i am on to the next item actually the last item in that bag which is the biggest bag and this is the sh the shape cream jumbo rib cardigan and I was after a white cardigan but a really long white cardigan and this guys this is a long cardigan I believe this goes down to almost the floor so do I see what size I got this in okay so I picked this up in an eight Ooh. okay it feels really oh my gosh this is gonna keep me so warm wow okay so 
no. Um, long sleeve, obviously, really basic cardigan, straight down the front, nothing fancy to it, and oh my gosh. See this again with an all black outfit, just a coat over the top if I need it when I'm out and about, and just like my Chanel bag thrown over my th throne, because you throw Chanel bags over your shoulder. Um, yeah, this is super, super, super long, exactly what I wanted. I'm into the next pretty little thing bag, and I know exactly what is inside here, guys. And these were out last year, I did not get on the bandwagon with them. I now own a white one upstairs, but I really, really wanted, really wanted this beautiful teddy colour. So it's a teddy coat, guys. So what size did I get this in? I got this in a eight. So this is camel maxi ball coat, and this is in a size eight. I normally would size slightly up with my coats, but this looked about a good size. Actually, it looks perfect. Just holding it here, it looks perfect. The, the size of it, oh, I just want to get inside it. Um, it's got really chunky pockets on the front. I love these, just always remind me of the Max Mara coats with the chunky sort of stitching around the pockets here. Love the buttons. I'm always a sucker for these type of buttons here as well. Yes, nice and long. Oh gosh, I feel like my coat collection is getting somewhere. Yes. Hydration is key, guys. I am into the big box and things in here I can't wait to start using. So this top box here is from a brand called Johnny Loves Rosie and I've been following these guys on Instagram for a while and may I say their packaging is beautiful. Lovely little bit of ribbon going on here. We, these are items that I haven't chosen. They're items that they have picked out for me and I can already see some lovely items that I've got here. So the first one, the big one that jumps out to me guys is a clutch. I've never got enough clutches, especially for this season. You always need like a nice clutch to go with your outfit. So this, it appears, has a little bow which you can attach to it and you can also use the clutch on its own. A gorgeous red as well, this really deep red which would go lovely with either my all white jumpsuit or an all black outfit as well. I can see that going with a really nice, nice size as well. I feel like I'm going to fit my phone and then some in here, you know, so yeah, a good, good size for that um, for this time of year. I then got, so these are the rage at the moment. I've seen all through the summer, everybody wearing these type of headbands. And this one has got really pretty detail on it. It's actually got pearls and little diamantes on it. And this is probably something that I will use for, this reminds me of when I was little when I used to wear hair bands, but this is probably something that I will use to be really fancy when I'm doing my makeup. And again, I'm gonna play this with an all black outfit. I need to stop, I need some color in my life. But I can just see this looking, sort of adding that little bit of something to an outfit um, and just zhuzhing up my hair, really. Oh, these as well, I believe I have got a discount code for you guys just before I show you the jewellery that they have given me as well. So Johnny Loves Rosie, the brand, has been seen in Vogue, Grazia and Elle. So you know they've got a, a little bit of a fan base at the moment. So I have got a 20% off code for you guys, which is Lisa20. So for your first order, you can get 20% off. So that is absolutely amazing. So I will put that in the description box for you below as well. So if you get to the end of the video and you want to remember what that code was, it'll be down there for you. So then I, they have sent, very kindly, sent me four pieces of jewellery. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm really like styling up my outfit for Christmas, I can tell, but um, we've got some 
earring so I love a small pearl earring so we've got an earring here that has that little bit of glitz and glam to it which is really really pretty some dangly ones and then if you're more of a stud person these here so they're still sort of not just one stud they're still like that little bit extra with teeny tiny pearls so yeah there's kind of like an option there for you and then two really cute necklaces actually this one I probably wear more often, but this is a really simple circular disc that says love on it. And then this one here is, I can see sort of my sister wearing this actually, um, but this is a key and it has a small diamond by the side of it as well. So that's really cute. So I feel very, very blessed to have those sent to me. So thank you very much guys. Before we go on to some very exciting skincare. You know how I feel about my skincare. I need to branch out with my hair care. My hair is at a point at the moment where it needs something different, some different products on it. And these guys, I know you can go onto their website and you can fill in a really quick, I think it took like about 60 seconds to do, so you can fill it in a questionnaire and they will recommend products for your hair type. So, in here, we have got three products. So I have got something that I definitely need when I'm styling my hair, and this is an anti-frizz serum. So the brand is called Naughty, the 97% natural as well, which is absolutely lovely. They're vegan and cruelty-free, which is amazing. It says no parabens, petrochemicals, sulfates, and silicones. So, ooh, oh, that's nice. What is that? Sweet almond and argan oil oh my goodness okay so that's going straight into my collection and then we have a shampoo and a conditioner for fine and limp hair I'm finding that I need a little bit of lift at my roots and um, although I like to sort of smooth down the rest of my hair I'm finding that my, my hair is falling quite flat so a volumizing shampoo and conditioner is kind of just what I need at the moment really good for me to just mix things up a little bit there I think this is the final hair product and these guys these are a little bit famous aren't they I've seen these everywhere as well so this is um collab or collab however you like to say it and this is a dry shampoo and I'm running out of the current dry shampoo that I'm using this is really good because I hate dry shampoos that leave those white marks and I know this one does not leave white marks on your hair. I haven't tried this brand before but I've heard so much about them. Looking forward to trying this and I know that you can use this because it's a clear one, you can use this on all hair types. And girls nowadays, guys, we can never go without dry shampoo, can we? Before I show you my makeup and skincare, I really, really want to show you these. So um, these are two phone cases that I designed myself on the website so this is case app and they have can we just say they have a plethora of cases for you to choose from some really really lovely cases as well but I was like well if I've got that opportunity to design my own which you can do on the website um, I'm gonna do that so I've gone for one white and one black I'm really into these beautiful line drawings at the moment and um, so this one I've put a monogram of my initials on the bottom as well with this really lovely matte case I wanted both of them to be matte I think you can choose as well when you're designing whether you want them to be matte or not um, and then this one with an image that I find online um, and another image as well so I just sort of created these and yeah I absolutely love these so I think I'm gonna put my this is quite autumnal though but I think I might go for my black one first to pop that on there. Oh, I feel sleek. And these are sturdy as well. So these are not like flimsy bendy cases. So I would highly recommend these. I've used Case App before and definitely recommend if you're looking for a phone case guys to get one from Case App. Do I go into some skincare for you? I feel like I should go into some skincare for you. So this is a brand that 
You've probably all heard of, I've never tried it. You know how obsessed I am with my skincare at the moment. So these are the items that I am probably gonna jump straight into using tonight, if I'm honest with you. Um, I have got my 15% glycolic acid fruit overnight glow peels from Goop. So the, the little bunch that I just put in my lap is from Goop and I am very excited to use these. Now I used to, I was somebody that I would say had quite sensitive skin and I slowly built up my toleration of different peels and things over time and I feel like my skin is massively benefiting for it. So um, these are 15% glycolic acid and fruit extracts. So probably gonna use one of these this evenings if I am honest with you to get my skin looking its best. The next item that I picked out is the Replenishing Night Cream. I knew going into winter that I was going to need a thicker cream than I've currently got at the moment for daytime and for nighttime. My skin just sort of gets so dry with all the heating on because I'm a cold person. I need I need the heat guys. So this is the Goop Replenishing Night Cream and let's have a little look inside. Oh, do you know what? I am pleasantly surprised that that just is not an overpowering smell. It just smells calm. <laughs> I don't know if that is a smell, but it smells just sort of calm. Formulated with organic ingredients. So that's probably why it hasn't had a load of stuff just added to it for the sake of it but my skin will drink that up tonight and on the same sort of path as that we've gone for the enriching face oil and this looked beautiful on their website I just thought I love the packaging of it as well to be honest with you really simplistic packaging and my skin definitely needs an oil at this time of year so I will let you know what this one is kind of like this one actually smells quite refreshing it smells really sort of uplifting i will probably end up using that day and night time as well and with that we have the rose quartz soothing face massage roller for all of my skincare that i've got upstairs i don't have any facial tools i was quite a little bit curious to try and find out what this roller was like you know i love my crystals as well but today we have got the rose quartz roller so can imagine sort of my fresh skincare and popping this on it's going to be very relaxing a lovely little addition to my skincare regime and the final goop item that we have here is the discovery set so it comes in a box like this and you have these little minis inside so these are great so it's got one of the little enriching face oils it's got a replenishing night cream exfoliating instant facial and the revitalizing day moisturizer so this if you haven't used the brand before I think this is a great little sort of step into the brand to see if you like their products or not a really lovely gift actually for somebody special the next skincare brand that I have for you is from green people and these are an amazing organic company and my goodness me another one that i thought was just love their skincare design as well so this is the pure luxe body oil so this i will probably use when i get out of the shower this evening my skin definitely needs a drink at the moment so this is the age defy pure luxe body oil you really need to go and have a look at their instagram and see i think these are the ones that have had a lot of awards as well and then I have the Hydra Glow Sleep Mask. I love things that smell like fresh as well so this just smells clean again and I'm absolutely in love with their packaging. Vegan as well, cruelty free so another great brand to sort of get your self behind and they've also sent me actually something that will go straight in my handbag but this is a cozy hands nourishing skin treat so this is ooh, manuka and lemon tea tree hand cream and this is hydrating hand cream let's put a little bit of that on right now shall we scrumptious we now have some makeup items from urban decay and i feel like i have been using urban decay for forever and a day who hasn't i mean two of these items i have used 
four years and this one I didn't know it's coming and I was a little bit excited when I saw this in the box because I have just run out of this upstairs. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I love this stuff, I use it every day to set my makeup. This is a great size as well. So <laughs> my skincare cupboard, as you can see, is getting a little bit overcrowded and I do keep my spray, my makeup spray, in my skincare cupboard as like my final step. So this is a great size actually for me to keep in there and again, a great size if you haven't used this before and you don't wanna go for the big one, get this one and have a little go. It's a really, really good setting spray. And then an eyeshadow primer now, I believe, this it has a tint to it still, because the one that I've got upstairs is the purple version of this, of the Urban Decay one. So let's have a little look. Oh yeah, amazing. This has a lovely little shimmer to it actually. I don't know if you can see that there, but that is a really lovely silky base. Um, that I know dries down lovely for an eyeshadow primer. So a lovely little addition to my collection. That is in Minor Sin, the colour of that. And then I already own two of the Naked palettes upstairs and I love them. They are really, really lovely palettes. But this is the new Honey palette. So if you know somebody who's really into makeup, this would be a lovely, lovely Christmas gift. Oh, just get this for yourself, you know. Um, but this, oh, there's a little bit of powder. Oh, maybe one has come a little bit away inside, but look at that packaging. That is beautiful. And the colors I know, these are my kind of colors, guys, but I can see that the very last one here has just cracked here, but I know a way that I can sort of pack it back together. So that is absolutely not a problem at all. But these are, these are my colors. I am the warm brown goldens kind of girl. So these are right up my street. And actually I'd love to do a little bit of a makeup look with you soon. I feel like I am sharing all of the best brands with you here, but pawpaw is something that, or papaw as I used to call it, <laughs> um, it's something that I've been using for about, can I say about 15 years? I feel about 15 years, guys. So these, the company is called Dr. Pawpaw, yeah? These is something, honestly, that I have always, always got in my bag. The properties in this are amazing. I know that you can use this on sort of open wounds, on nappy rash. Um, this is the most amazing balm for your lips as well. I get really sort of chapped lips at this time of the year as well. Honestly, stuff is amazing. So this is a multi-purpose soothing balm with natural purple for lips, cheeks and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. Um, cruelty free and vegan, but honestly, this stuff is just amazing the stuff that I have upstairs oh love it so this I believe is their Christmas set and um, so they've got two different colors here so these have got a little hint of a tint to them yeah do a little bit of research into Paul Paul guys it is amazing stuff we then have got a tannin mitt from Valvo Tan and I'm actually due to do a little bit of tannin, which I'm excited for, guys. I, I always go to the end of the week, I'm getting super pale, I need to put it back on, I'm that girl. <laughs> and these mitts, I'm currently using a mitt inside another mitt at the moment, because the mitt that I have, it just comes through. These are supposed to not let any of that come through so you don't get dirty hands. This is what you need in your life. Okay, I didn't know that these were coming and I'm a little bit excited that they have. So I am that person that overplucked their eyebrows in the 90s and I have two little skinny lines of actual hair. You know, I went and had my brows microbladed. However, I'd like a little bit of hair there as well if possible. So oh, I know that everyone's heard of these, but if you know somebody that needs a little bit of help, in this area, then maybe these are what you're looking for. <laughs> so I think we've got the, um, where is it gone? The Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. So it says to use for 60 days and up to 108% improvement in the appearance of eyebrow density. This is what we need, guys. 
and I've then got the eyelash enhancing serum so in 30 days up to 50% longer and 75% more thicker looking lashes and we also have a conditioner here as well so this is going to be like a whole new routine that I've got going on here so I am very grateful that these have been sent we have a little bag and this left elegant touch nails nails that i think i've been buying since i was a teenager from boots so didn't ever think i'd be sent anything from elegant touch so this is lovely these are more of a party nail that i would say i'm normally like on an every day i'm a nude nail girl but when I like to dress up for Halloween and things like that and for the party season I do like to have something that's a little bit more bright and glittery so we've got here a beautiful one which I can see me doing a sort of mermaid look with these actually might have to keep these I feel like I'm going to keep these okay <laughs> um, I've then got these which again an all black outfit guys <laughs> would go great with these I feel but yeah absolutely love that colour there and the sheen on those and then this one is more of a fun one so this is the nude but then we have got that glitter over the top really great as well so I've taken all of my nails off so this is great for just popping on a little bit of fun colour there so very pleased with Elegant Touch Elegant Touch are those ones as well that just they stay on and they don't pop off five minutes after you've popped them on. So great <laughs> nails there. And then this one here, we have got another very, very good brand. So this is from the Eyelash Emporium and I have never, never used one of these. So this is the Studio Strip Lash Cleanser. I am that person that likes to use their lashes over and over and over again and try and get as much wear out of them as I can, to be honest with you. So these are faux mink luxury strip lashes. They're cruelty free, 3D layered, which gives them a lovely fluffy effect and feel and it says as seen on, on Love Island and Taui so we have got the dual glue which is great because sometimes I do like to use the black and then other times I don't want all the black on the inner part of my eye so that is actually really good so it's, it's got black and clear so that's fab and then we have got the cleanser which I will use and use again that's great <laughs> um, and then we've got three types of lashes and this one would probably be one I love to put a lash on when I'm doing like a really bold makeup look I'm not an everyday lash kind of girl but um, I feel like I need that, that little bit of help at the moment so maybe with the lash serums and the these, I'm just gonna blow your mind. <laughs> these are called Make a Scene, these ones, no caption needed. So these are lovely. Then we've got ones that are slightly thicker here, which are called Thank You Next. And then the thickest ones here we've got are called the Money Shot. So three lovely pairs of lashes, which I know will come in handy for when I'm doing my makeup looks for you here. So I really hope you enjoyed looking at all of the items that we've got here in our haul. Don't forget I've got all of those links down in the description box below with that code for Johnny Loves Rosie. Some amazing brands here so if you haven't tried them before I would really recommend purchasing yourself for somebody special or maybe just for you. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching everybody. I will speak to you all soon. Bye.